So my next guest has been in, uh, in the market, mostly defensive posture, but also his core holdings got some growth names there. It feels like that we're at a, at a crossroads, right? We're either maybe at a big breakout point or we fail to break out. And of course, as I said earlier in the show, we could pull back a whole lot. Uh, I also want to ask uh, my next guest about a slick avatar. <laughs> Joining me now, Slate Stone Wealth Chief Market Strategist about the latest hedge fund, uh, Titan, to declare war on AMC. Since, uh, since this guy declared war, AMC's up 44%. I, what is it with these Wall Street types? Why do they like to pick fights with regular folks? Don't they have something? You can short the stock, but why go on Twitter and declare war against well, all these people? And I don't know. I don't know anything about this particular yeah. hedge fund manager. I don't know who he is. I've actually never heard of him. I don't really play that side of the game, right? I don't play to short stocks, right? I don't, I don't follow heavily shorted stocks because they're not names that I would typically right. be in. But, you, you know, it's just, it, it's almost like trying to pound your chest saying, look, I'm bigger than you and I dare you to come after me. And now AMC's up 44% <laughs> since the guy announced he's yeah. short. Yeah, it's just absolutely amazing. Right. I'm digging those avatars, my man. <laughs> well, thank you very did, much. Did you put them together? First, I thought it was Kenny Rogers, but then I saw no, the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> the glasses and the white beard. Yeah. No, no, you know, it's very funny. They, they, I don't know if it's Apple, whatever. It started out as a half a dozen avatars. And then every day, if suddenly a new avatar of me pops up in a different pose, in a different position, I'm not sure who's doing it, but... Every day, the list That's gets so longer cool. and longer. So it's cool. very cool, actually. Let's talk about what you are buying, because you, you like gold uh, here. So I like gold, gold the commodity. Well, I like gold, the stock, which okay. is Barrick, but I, gold, the commodity. If you look at it on the on the chat, you're going to see, right, We've, we we it's in, been in the 1,700, 2,100 trading range, right? And it trades up, and then it comes right down to 1,700 and tests it. Bounces again, comes down and tests it. Bounces again. Now it's tested it for a third time, just you know, a couple of weeks ago, and now it has now started on its way up. And I think if inflation continues to stick around as long as it does, and we continue to have these geopolitical right. concerns out there, and there are a lot of them, right. is that I think gold is going to, once again, people are going to flock to gold. And so I like GOLD, which is American Barrick. Right. Um, and Newmont Mining is another one I think that people should take a look at. Maybe, uh, what's the high, 2400? I mean, can it work? Uh, 20, uh, 2400 on, the, on gold. I actually think gold's probably closer to 25 to 3000 in really? two or three years. Yeah. All right. Good stuff, my man. Good stuff. It's you always a send me pleasure. that link for that, that, yeah, that, that <laughs> avatar thing. I'm a little jealous, Kenny. All right, folks, coming up, my takeaway on the sacrifices, right? Be careful what you wish for. That's all I'm telling you.